Hey there entrepreneurs and business owners. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a powerful all-in-one business management platform called Upbase. As always, we are here to provide you with honest reviews and explore tools that can streamline your business operations. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss any of our latest content. Now, let's explore the world of Upbase. All right, jumping to our display, we have Upbase here, the unique project management tool that's built for individuals and small teams. So we are gonna check out the pricing here. As you can see, we have the free plan uh, where we have unlimited tasks, unlimited users, uh, up to three lists, uh, unlimited storage, but five megabyte per files, access to one month of chat messages. So we're gonna be able to access chat messages for one month. Then we have iOS and Android mobile apps. All right, then we have the premium plan, which is gonna cost us $8 per month. But if we have $6, then it's going to cost us $72 per year. So uh, we're not going to go to annually. We're going to go to monthly plan. Then we have the premium membership, everything in free. So everything is going to be in the free is here. Plus unlimited lists, unlimited free guests, unlimited storage. But this time you're going to get 250 megabytes per file. Then we can access full history of chat messages. Okay, so we are going to be able to access full history of chat messages. And here the chat messages will be free. Um, we're going to be able to get full history. Uh, no, we're going to be able to get one month of history uh, for the free plan. Then we have recurring tasks and then we have priority support. All right, so we have everything here. Now we can get lifetime access too. All right, so let's see what lifetime access do we have here. All right, so we have all in one product management tool. A base, it's $49 for lifetime tool on AppSumo. All right, and the link of AppSumo will be provided in the description. Be sure to check that out. It's best for project managers, remote teams, small businesses, and it's alternative to Asana, ClickUp, Trello, and it has Google Chrome integrations. All right, here is a video, but already you're watching a video, so no need to check that out. Then we have Docs, we have Chat, all right, so here are some deals, deals and terms, conditions, lifetime access of Upbase, code 11 and beyond will be will scale by one workplace and five members, okay? So previous AppSumo customers will be grandfathered into the new feature limits, okay? We have 60 days money back guarantee, so uh, you can try out the software for two months and if, you do, if, and if you feel like that the software is not for you or you're not being helped by it, then you can just return it and get your money back. All right, so here are the things that we are getting. Team, chat list, uh, embed Google Drive folders, list board and calendar view, access full history of chat messages, recurring tasks, Chrome extension, invite guests and clients, customize list modules, lock pages, etc link bookmark finishes sorry link bookmarks in lists okay uh, and then we have plan one where, where we are going to get unlimited lists so guys here we have on plan one we have all features above included which means these all the features above are included plus unlimited lists unlimited guests unlimited storage 250 megabytes per pile then up to one premium work pace and five total team members. So I'm a little confused about team members and guests. What are guests and what are team members? And list, yeah, that's I'm clear about. Okay, so we have three codes. If we have three codes, then we are gonna be able to get 15 total team members. If we have two codes, we're gonna get 10 team members. And if we increase the code four, then we have 20 team members. So the more we increase the code, we are getting get five more team members. So as you can see, 25 team members, five times. So at 10 codes, we're gonna get 50 team members, but we're gonna get 10 premium workspaces. All right, so uh, we are not only just getting the team members, we are also getting uh, workspaces too. So guys, if you have a bigger business and you want more workspaces and you want more team members, then you can just stack up codes. But if you have a small business, you, you're going to be able to work with one workspace, then this plan is going to be a value for money deal for you because you're going to have to pay $72 per year, but you're getting the lifetime deal on only $49. So I guess it's a win-win situation. Now let's deep dive into Upbase. But before deep diving in, let me get, give you a brief about it. 
Upbase is an ambitious platform that aims to simplify and centralize all aspects of business management. From project management to CRM, Upbase claims to have it all, making it an attractive option for entrepreneurs looking for an integrated solution. Now we are going to create an account for free. On the top, on the upper left corner, we can see the red sign up for free button. So we are going to go click it. And um, that's pretty cool. We have signed in with Google. So we're just going to one click log in or sign up to our account. And here we have it. So as you can see, we have two workspaces. And on the free account, we are able to create workspaces. I'm just showing you. Now, let's suppose that we have a chocolate factory. Okay, all right. So, Sweet Treats is going to be my chocolate factory's name. Okay, now it's a test project, just testing. Now, we're going to create workspace. Now, let's check out. Uh, as you can see, guys, I have three workspaces and I'm in free account. I don't know when I will not be able to use free account because it's free forever and in free account we are allowed to use one workplace. I mean one workspace, but I'm using three workspace already. I don't know how am I doing that. So here we are going to have a quick overview of the application. So here is our workspaces and here is this we can hide this side panel from here on the three uh, three stripes. So first of all we have schedule which is the calendar view of all your tasks. We have the task panel where we can have board view or list view. Then we have the chat window here. We can have channel, we can chat in channels or we can directly message to our team members. Then we can add bookmarks from here. Task assigned to me. All right, so we're gonna add a bookmark. Task assigned to me will automatically be bookmarked here. Then we have lists. All right, what list do we have? So here uh, we have get started with Upbase. All right, so here are some tasks to get started with Upbase. So uh, on the lists, um, get started with Upbase. We can add more list if necessary, folder or list. And here is the tag. So here uh, the tag, we can create multiple tags like uh, what is the chocolate factory? I mean, what does the chocolate factory do? Well, they get uh, ingredients to make chocolate they make chocolate they deliver it in stores or they sell themselves okay so let's say production and the production of chocolate will be uh, the production the thing the tasks that are needed to pr produce the chocolates will be under this tag well i'm gonna make it very soon okay so here it is the sidebar is well, we have explored the entire sidebar. Now let's go ahead and see what this does. We can add new task, we can add notepad, we can add new doc, uh, we can add new links, and we can check out on our members. And all right, so no list, role, member. So we have to, we have to enter email of the people. All right, so we can add more people to here. Then we have the, chat settings here too then after that we have the notifications and then we have our profile settings our profile hide away email all right we're gonna be able to turn on dark mode which is pretty cool then we have help center contact us my settings notifications log out i guess that's the entire overview guys now let's go ahead in settings and see what we have play task computation sound all right i want sounds because it's funny now we have first day of the week. Okay, it's Monday. That's pretty cool. Then we have general idea announcement celebration. We have people. No people are in my team now. All right, guys. So getting back from the settings to the home page now. So after we have, um, we are gonna add some tasks. It will be here. And now let's go ahead and add some tasks. Okay. So overdue. On uh, overdue, what are we gonna add? All right. Deliver cakes. All right, deliver cakes, deliver bread. So these tasks are overdue. And then we have deliver chocolate. And after that, we are gonna uh, create another task, which is gonna be today. So his overdue tasks are here and today. So today we are gonna have to deliver. Okay, so here is our today's task. Here is our overdue task. All right, guys, so in the next seven days, what are we gonna do? We are gonna uh, produce all of the things that we are selling here. We're gonna produce cakes, 
we are gonna produce bread I guess I have spelled the bread wrong here <laughs> breaked <laughs> nice what is breaked so all right produce chocolate produce cupcakes all right so these are the tasks that will be completed in the next seven days now later on we're gonna do what later on we are gonna buy supplies later on we are gonna uh, maintain our machinery and then when where we have no due dates is to upgrade factory it's not necessary so we have no due dates on it well um, it's a good thing to do but it's totally not necessary thing to do that's why uh, we have no due date on it all right guys so now we're gonna try the board view as you can see the board view looks pretty dope here and now we can uh, what can we do with the tasks as you can see watchers we can add subtasks we can add attachments all right so here is the attachments so here we can add attachments up to five megabytes all right so let's go ahead and add our add the image for our task processing let's see upgrade factory and we have an attachment can we add uh, more attachments except image it's 35 megabytes well this one it's small let's go ahead and upload a zip file all right as you can see we can attach a zip file so um, in zip files or a notepad file or image file you can add more instructions for the tasks and your team member will be able to view those instructions from the attachments and then they will be able to understand the task quite well so after that we have activities so as you can see I have attached these so whether someone is messing with the lists the activity will be popped up here and then we can minimize it uh, right here oh, okay so the minimized thing will be on the tray so we can access the tray from anywhere I mean chats or any other window scheduled we can access this minimized tray okay so remove from the tray we're gonna get back from get back to it from the task and now let's go ahead and add some subtask to it so upgrade factory what are we gonna do what are we gonna upgrade improve security we're gonna upgrade so these are the plan uh, subtasks to upgrade our factory and as you can see the subtasks are not appearing here now we're gonna have to click it again as you can see after we are out we're gonna have to click it again now let's suppose that our security have been improved as you can see it's not here then when I click it again then it appears now here it is we are gonna show the incompleted task so that we have more data now deliver breads and deliver cakes so where are we gonna deliver the cakes now we're gonna add some subtasks now let's say to the city to the village so in, in order to deliver cakes we are going to be able to deliver them in two places one will be in the cities one will be in the village so since our factory is in the city well, that's what we are expecting uh, we we have delivered already to the cities now we have to deliver to the villages now let's suppose we have delivered them to the villages it's done okay so we have delivered them to the villages but as you can see the task is still not done even after I have completed the two subtasks the task still remains so it has to be clicked done from here and then as you can see these tasks can be set priority and I can set high priority for a task and production as you can see we can set medium priority for a task and those tasks which are of low priority we can also set low priority for the tasks so here we go low priority is blue color medium priority is your orange color and then we have high priority which is red color so let's go ahead and check out our list view how it looks like and in list view we don't have color codes we just have the priority menu here so we can set priority even faster from here as you can see well uh where is my completed tasks uh, okay so completed task here it is we have the completed tasks over here of course it was a high priority or oh, why would i complete it and as you can see guys uh, from here we can also assign tags for our 
text for our, you know, the tasks. Produce cake. Okay, so we can add text from here too. Now these are production, so I'm just gonna add tag production to these tasks. We're gonna close this one, and now we're gonna go back to board view. Well, in board view, uh, the maintenance is a little hard, but it looks better in board view, okay? But in list view, you know, maintenance is easy. We can just click on tags here. We don't have to open the task like this. Uh, it's less hassle to manage in list view, but it's much uh, more beautiful to see it in board view. So as you can see guys, managing tasks from uh, a base is very easy. And in the free plan, you are uh, able to create lots of lots of workspaces so it's quite easy and it's quite convenient you can set priority you can set your team members but since only i'm the team member uh, in this in this place so no one is able to uh, i'm i'm unable to add anyone else here because i'm the only team member here and i'm only using the software to test that's why i'm the only assignee here you can also assign your team members here and you can manage your work with the and you can manage your workflow manage all your projects with this tool this task manager and now let's go ahead and see the calendar view so today we are gonna do these things then yesterday's task so these are the yesterday's tasks and today's tasks are these you can also add tasks from here you can also add tasks from here in the calendar view as you can see if I add task anything, then it will be added to the specific date. Now let's go ahead to my task and check out. So it haven't showed up here. Now let's go ahead and refresh the page. All right, the task haven't showed up here, but it's on the schedule. So how about tasks assigned to me bookmarks? Let's see what is here. All right, it's not working. Oh, so we need to set link here. Well, I haven't set the link before, so that's why the bookmark is not working. All right, so we're gonna check out that later. Now let's go ahead and see the chat. So get started with Upbase, all right? We are already starting with Upbase, so we don't need this channel. So here in direct message, if we have multiple team members, we will be able to directly message with them. As you can see, I can directly message my team members or I can just create channels. Now uh, create channel, oh, so this channel can get back. I don't want this channel, come on. Now here we're going to create a channel. First channel is going to be production. Before production, we need to stock up. So another channel should be stock up. The team members who are uh, responsible for stocking up all the ingredients for our factory will be uh, discussing with their, their teammates in this channel. And, and the team members which are in charge of production would be um, chatting in this channel talking about their production talking with the team members how to improve production what to do to improve production all of these things etc etc and now we're going to create another channel which is delivery so here we have another channel which is delivery but i think this one should be on the to the bottom because first of all we're going to stock up then we're going to production we're going to create production and then we are going to deliver i really sh think that this one this channel should be on the bottom but i can't drag and drop it no yeah i can't drag and drop it so um dragging and dropping would be a better thing to do because uh, now the sequence is not okay as you can see stock up deliver production well I'm, I'm getting confused that's what i can say now i don't know about other team members well they will not be able to view it because uh, i will be able to add them to these teams so uh, whom are so whom are responsible for stocking up i will add them here the people who are responsible for delivering all the products will be added for he, uh, added here and the people who are under production will be added to this channel and they will communicate with their team members uh, flawlessly. So as you can see guys, you can do a lot with Abase. You can schedule your tasks. You can set all your tasks. You can set priority. You can set subtask for your tasks and you can chat with your team members on how to do which task, when to do which task, collaborate with your team members and do all the tasks very well. So guys, thank you for joining us today as we explored Upbase. If you're interested in trying out this comprehensive business management platform, you can find the link in the video description below. 
If you found this review helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow entrepreneurs. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notification so you never miss our latest reviews and insights. If you have used Upbase before or have any questions, share your thoughts in the comments. We love hearing from you. Until next time, keep managing and growing your business with Upbase. See you in the next video.